Hello there and welcome back. Well, this is by request from the last live event. I was asked to take a look at Linux Lite 2.8. I'm still trying to shake this cold, by the way, in the stuffy nose. I swear I think it's payback from Microsoft. So you want to show the world Linux, huh? Oh yeah, well, take this virus up your sinuses. I'm just kidding, it's just a joke. I'm cool with Windows 10. But for tonight, I'm going to give some love to the latest from Linux Lite. This is version 2.8. For what I've tested so far, one of the very best for Linux newbies, Linux beginners, and so on. This one really, really rocks. I'll go through this as quickly as I can. Hopefully my voice will not crackle. So running this inside a virtual box, it appears that the guest editions are ready to go by default. Thank you, Make it, making this a lot easier, not only for me, but for beginners who want to test this inside a virtual environment. I am a big fan of click and go, just like in Windows, meaning you click the application and you go to the function that you want it to do, if that makes any sense. And this functions perfectly so far. Welcome to Linux Lite, self-explanatory, install updates, do this first, upgrading, hardware recommendations. This is great for older, low-spec machines, of course. On a newer machine, this will just fly. By the way, in a virtual machine, it's perfectly safe. You don't have to erase Windows in case you're wondering. It will run a little bit slower inside a virtual machine. That's normal, but you really can't really break anything inside Windows, at least I never have. Anyway, moving along, the default desktop here is it's it's light. It's, it's it's definitely lighter and light, maybe too light, but that can be changed. Let's go to this rather quickly. If you are new to this, definitely click the help manual, especially if you are a newbie. You need to get started somewhere, and chances are, if you know how to install this, you probably breeze through the help manual. Uh, this will run faster in a full install, by the way, as I stated. But uh, yeah, take a look at the um, Linux Lite help manual. Again, self-explanatory. I love the use of colors here and, and so on. So definitely take a look at this. All right, moving along. All right, a panel at the bottom. If you right click, one thing I've always liked about the XF XFCE type of desktop environment is the ability to add little applets, little pieces of software. For example, we can add, uh, let's add the, let's add the trash, why not? Add that. And there you go, little trash shortcut here to the bottom right. All right, these are shortcuts here to the left. Let's look at the light control center, see what that looks like. So we have my computer, desktop, software. I like the default icons and the colors, by the way. Network and system. I guess this would be somewhat similar to the control panel in Windows. Once again, self-explanatory, so I won't go into that. Let's go to the start button or the menu. All right, favorites, recently used, all, settings, accessories, games, graphics, the GIMP installed by default, very good, internet, of course, Firefox, multimedia, all right, very good, VLC, one of the best media players for both Windows and Linux installed by default, that should be mandatory for all Linux, di all Linux distributions in my opinion. Um, let's take a look at the, let's try light tweaks. Okay, so these are broken down into different types of uh, default statuses. For example, here there are two levels of status, safe, safe to perform, no harm, caution, proceed with caution. Once again, if you are a beginner, you may want to take a look at this. So we have caution and safe. So. Uh, let's see, auto remove packages, yeah, that's safe. Default web browser, definitely safe. Display this usage, that's safe. Firefox, yeah, log archives, package cache, and so on. What's with caution? Boot up fix, yeah, yeah, that's probably not a safe. Host name, change your computer host name, that's under caution. Not sure about that one. 
kernel remove it. Nah, you don't want to touch that one. Locate large files. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Package system repair fix. Yeah, I would probably leave that on the caution. So I would this makes all sense to me anyway. You can right click on the desktop as you would in Windows and you can oh take a look at this. You can take a quick screenshot. How cool is that? We go to the applications as we did from the start the button. Let's change, you know what, let's go to the, um, let's change the appearance of this real quick and then I'll wrap this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, clear looks, crux, industrial, mist, rally, red money. You know what, I think I'll go with, uh, yeah. Let's, let's see that Zukitu dark reload. I think I'm saying that right. So there you go. In an instant, you can change the color of this if it's a little bit too bright for you. As far as the wallpaper, uh, let's see. Let's try something else real quick. Background. If this is too light for you, looks like a whole bunch here. Um, yeah, let's choose that one. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, very nice. So there you go. In an instant, you have changed the color and the theme of your Linux Lite 2.8 desktop. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. I did post, if you're interested, uh, I, I wrote on my blog um, a rather lengthy uh, review, sort of my thoughts on this. It's on the... Uh, uh, total, let's see, total OS today, if I can spell right, uh, blog spot, let's see if it brings it up, <clears throat> I mean, I hope I feel better next week, yeah, just go here, and it's, it's, it's the latest post, it's my quick look at my review, uh, in writing of what I believe Linux Lite is, it's definitely underrated, it's underrated, Linux for beginners, uh, in my opinion. So if you want a little more in-depth, my feelings about this, you can take a look at this. That's it. That's all I have for this. Definitely take a look at this. It looks and feels terrific. I may install this on one of my test machines and just leave it in there because it's awesome. It's definitely running good in a uh, virtual you know, environment. So if you have Windows 8 or 7 or Windows 10, this is perfectly safe to run. It seems to be running fairly quickly, even in a virtual environment. That's all I have for this one. I'm going to take my cough medicine and go to bed. Thank you to all of you who joined me in the last unscheduled live event. Hope to schedule the next one soon. I promise as soon as I feel better, I'll do it. It'll be the UK show for all of my friends over in the UK. If you haven't already, consider subscribing, consider supporting this channel through Patreon or PayPal. Be, it would be greatly appreciated. That's all I have for this one. Enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. Catch you next time.